started listening to podcasts, and then finally I heard the right one. This guy was flipping vacant raw land, and he was talking about buying it from the tax auctions. Well, I had no clue what he was talking about with that, but I was like, listen, I know there's a way to get a list of you know, land that you can buy that's behind on taxes or the list of owners that haven't paid their back taxes. It's like, if I just got that list and I mailed those owners a postcard or a letter saying, hey, I'd like to buy your land. By way of background, Brent Bowers is the owner of the Land Sharks. He's an investor and coach with a focus on buying and selling vacant land. As an army officer with over eight years of service, Brent was spending a great deal of time away from his family and he knew he needed to make some changes to be more present with his wife and children. His interest in real estate began in 2007 when he purchased his very first home. Now, while Brent invests in many different types of real estate. His favorite investment strategy deals with buying and selling vacant land. He also enjoys sharing his expertise in this area with his coaching clients and he's also very passionate about helping others find success in real estate investing, particularly in land investments. So welcome to the podcast today, Brent. How you doing? Hey man, I'm good, Tony. Good, good to, good to see you. Good to talk to you finally. Yes, sir. Most definitely. So I've been um, hearing like a lot of things about investing in land. And I know you're the exact gentleman to talk to about investing in land. Because, see, my wife and I, we were talking about doing some land investment. Now, before we get into that, Brent, would you mind kind of telling me a little bit about yourself? How did you get involved in land investing? Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, how did I get involved? I was really running from a problem. I was looking to quit my job, really. Uh, I started in real estate in 2007. I hung in there till about 2009 and threw in the towel. About 2009, I was a big quitter and joined the military. And I was always gone away, you know, deploying. I had, I was actually preparing for my third combat deployment. And this time I'm just like, I'm done. I can't keep staying away from home for so long. Eight and a half years, I just can't do this anymore. And I heard a guy on a podcast just like this, talking about flipping land, vacant raw land, and just doubling his money overnight. And I'm like, well, I need that because I'm broke as a joke. I'm in the military. I'm working crazy hours. I have no time. So I just started taking action and uh, started buying land at crazy discounts. Like, and it was garbage land. It was like not buildable, not accessible, landlocked. And then I would sell it on seller financing. And these people would pay me three, four, five, six hundred dollars a month for sometimes five, 10, 15 years. And it built my my income up to where I was able to quit my job. So that's what I'm teaching people today. I mean, it's just changed my life. And also, thank you so much for your service, sir. So much, thank you. Yes, sir. You're very welcome. So now, um, do you um, have any projects that you're working on right now that you kind of maybe want to tell us about with land investing? Oh, man. You know, I started you know, with the really small deals, you know, my first one was $285. I sold it to a realtor for 5,000. Now I'm doing bigger projects now just because I found that it takes the same amount of time to make a lot more money. Um, one in particular that I'm really excited about right now is one I have going on. Um, we, we got this piece of land, it's uh, several acres um, and the seller is allowing us six months to buy it from him. And he's also allowing us to market it on the uh, MLS with my real estate agent. So we're buying it from him and he's going to let us make payments for 15 years. And we're going to make a payment to him for $1,100 a month. We already have a buyer in place. that's going to buy it from us for a hundred thousand more. So 250,000 and our buyer is willing to pay us $2,200 a month. So basically, let me just tell you, it's, it's, it's called positive arbitrage. So we're buying it and we're turning around and seller financing it to someone else. And that's going to give them the, the time to improve the land, build roads on the land, uh, increase the fill dirt to raise the land up. And we're buying the land for $150,000. We're selling it for $250,000. We are paying the seller 5% interest. Our buyer is paying us 12% interest. We're going to have the seller paid off in 15 years our buyer is going to have us paid off in 30 years. 
And if we ride out the full 30 years for that property, I'll keep about a thousand dollars a month in my pocket. I mean, that's a house payment for some yeah. people, a thousand dollars a month in my pocket. And if we do the whole 360 months of payments, plus the, you know, the markup that we were able to do on the land, we're going to make over $600,000 net profit on one land deal that cost me no money out of my pocket. Wow. And this is what I do. I do these over and over and over again. Another deal I just did, I'm looking at my board over here because I had it wrote, written down. Um, I've got whiteboards all over my office, by the way. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I keep it simple. I'm like, you know, whiteboard, pen and paper. I do have an acquisition manager. She loves our CRM. I don't know how to use the CRM. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just don't understand them. Mm -hmm. So I keep it simple. Like anybody can do this, by the way. <laughs> but another deal we just did, we, uh, we bought a piece of land for 40000 out mm -hmm. in Colorado. Wow. And it took us several months to buy it because we had to go through probate and some legal issues and the title company helped me out with all that. Um, long story short, we were able to find a buyer for 90000 but he needed to make payments and he can only come up with $5,000 now. I said, okay, great. So we had the cash sitting in our account to buy this piece of land for 40000 and then another opportunity came and I spent the money. So I called my mother-in-law. <laughs> I said, hey, can I borrow $40,000 from you? I'll pay you 9% interest. And when do you want to be paid off? She said, hey, five years, that's fine. I'd rather have the money working and earning me interest because they took a lot of their money out of the stock market because it's just crazy right now. Um, so long story short, I'm paying my mother-in-law uh, for five years for 40,000, had 9%, she's happy. We're paying her like 800 and something a month. Our buyer, our buyer is paying 946 a month and he gave me the five thousand dollars down and he we're charging him 12 percent interest for 13 and a half years so i'm keeping the five thousand up front from the buyer so i got paid in the beginning so land is profitable from day one and forever okay. so i i paid i get paid right at closing so the day we purchased that land my buyer gave me the five thousand dollar down payment so i got paid that day and use mother-in-law's money. So I didn't use my own money to do it. And so, so I always want to talk to the people that say, I don't have any money to get this started. Well, you don't need money. You don't need money to buy real estate. So now I'm getting paid, which he's already paid his first month payment of 946, sent my mother-in-law or her 800. And we set this up automatically. We have a company called bill.com that pays all of our, our lenders and our bill pay. So paid mother-in-law 800. It, it's going to a savings account that she she doesn't touch and we got paid 946 so we keep the 146 dollar difference for 60 months so that's going to work out to a little over seven grand and then after that five years we keep the whole 946 a month so that deal right there is going to net us about a hundred and two thousand dollars if the buyer pays all the payments never defaults and doesn't pay off pay us off early which he could, most of our buyers seem to pay us off within about five years um, because they're gonna, they move, they sell it, the market shifts up crazy and they can double their money, they build on it, all these things. And we get paid off early and everyone's like, well, do you do a prepayment penalty? Heck no, like I'd rather just get my profit and go to the next deal. So those are some of my land deals. Um, I didn't start out doing those. I started out with the smaller ones like I've mentioned, but uh, you know, I talk too much. Go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. This, this is amazing. No, Brent. No, you're teaching uh, me and my listeners a whole lot right now. No, sir. Thank you so much for this. So now, quick question for you. Now, I know you're doing like a lot of deals and everything is like moving so fast or whatnot. How do you get yourself in the right mindset, Brent, to deal with that type of caliber of money like on a consistent basis like that? You know, mindset, I just... Uh... I'll tell you, I try and do what I fear most. Like today I texted a friend. Um, he's been trying to get in real estate for a long time. And I finally texted him, it finally hit me. And I was afraid to, I was for something, like he is an older friend, really successful guy. So I was a little intimidated by him. Um, and finally I just texted him, I said, let's do lunch next week. Because I was feeling inspired, you know, and it, I was literally sitting at the red light next to the Walmart when I did it and I was like, you know, I'm just going to text him right now. Um, cause I had an idea. I had an idea on how we could do some land deals together. Um, because he's been wanting to get into this. So I was just like, you know what, let's just do it right now. So I still have the fear of failure and the fear of rejection. Mo everyone has those fears, but I just know those are fears and I try and push past them. You know, other things I do is 
you know, stay very active. Like I love going to the gym and working out and running and walking because it decreases cortisol levels and increases increases what's called um, endorphins. So if you can lower these lower these cortisol levels and then increase endorphins, you'll take action that usually scare you if you're sitting at a very like just state of not doing anything. You know, there, there's laws, the laws of vibration that that God created. Like we've got to be staying continuous movement. Yes. So yes. it's just taking action steps and just knowing like, okay, I'm still scared of these things. Why? I don't know why. Like, is he going to reject me? No, he's been asking me to get in, like to teach him how to do this. I just didn't know how. I love that, Brent, because see, that's the, that's what I'm talking about. And that's what I try to teach my listeners and my audience. Mindset is very imperative because see, a lot of people don't know, Brent, what really put me on the map is when I sold a piece of commercial property to Oprah Winfrey's family. That's what really put me on the map. And people was like, how in the hell is this guy with no real estate license? He's only 22 years old, set on a piece of property to the richest family in the world. So, you know, my mindset, Brent, was like, you know what? I can be rejected by Oprah and her family. But you know what? Hey, I'm not. I can do this. You know, I have that right mindset. And then next thing you know, Brent, we closed the deal and I was driving down to Bank of America, to, you know, <laughs> with the briefcase and everything. And so it was a fantastic thing. But yeah, mindset is absolutely critical. And so that's one huge thing that I do, you know, tell my audience. I said, make sure to please have your correct mindset. Now, the next question, Brent. Man, now, I, I got to interrupt you. I'm going to hit the victory bell for you. Anybody yes. listening to this on headphones, get ready. <laughs> That's amazing. Selling land or a commercial property to Oprah Winfrey? Yes, sir. And, you know, let's not move on from that because here's the thing. Like, what if she rejected you? What if she's like, you know, screw you, Tony Reed. Like, I don't like the way your headphones look on your head. Like, no, she's not going to do that. Tomorrow, she's going to forget who the heck we are. Yes. And we keep moving on as life. And so many people are afraid, like, well, that seller said no, or that buyer said no. You think they're going to remember you past 30 seconds? Get 15 other no's and I guarantee you're going to get yes. yes. Like It's like my daughter, she's five years old. She can get anything in this world she wants and she gets no's all the time. Mm -hmm. But she knows if she asks enough times, she's eventually going to get what she wants. And then she changes her face, she changes her hands, and she makes these funny faces. And it's like, it's like aggravates me sometimes, but sometimes I think it's really funny. But eventually I'm going to say yes. Like that's, yeah. you just have to get enough no's. <laughs> yes. And see, that, and that's one thing right there, Brent. A lot of people are scared to hear no. But see, my whole life, I was raised by a family of entrepreneurs. So I, I'm actually a barber also, Brent. I've been a barber for the last 20 years. And so uh, that's actually how Oprah Winfrey came into the barber shop. I was cut, I was shaving a man's beard or whatnot. She walked in and wanted to buy the property from me. And I was like, oh, oh wow. Yes, sir. So with that mindset or whatnot, you know, you just have to know you can do it because see, my granddad always told me, son, you know, it's nothing wrong with a person being told no, but it's how you take that word no. And you, if, if, if you say you can choose to do one of two things, son. He said you can either choose to stay stagnant or you can take that no and move on and improve on what you did wrong. In my whole life, Brent, for 38 years, I've been living by that philosophy right there. So, and that's one huge thing that my granddad, he, he he's still alive. Thank he's God. still, yes, sir. And he, he still plays in my mind every single day. Man, it's how you take the nose. That's so good. Now, quick question, Brent. Now, a lot of my listeners, they may be inquisitive to know, how does one really get started with investing in real estate with no money? Yeah. So when in 2016, I was working 13 hours a day for the army and I was preparing for combat deployment number three. I was going to Afghanistan for a third time and I was only going for nine months this time. But here's the thing, to leave on a deployment for nine months, you got to train up a year prior. So we're basically gone for one year, nine months. Well, I now had a huge why. Like we always hear the whys. Like I didn't realize it until, you know, there's like in the last probably six months, what my why was back then to get this started. But it was why was to, I don't ever want to leave my family for this long ever again, because my first, my first marriage didn't work out because I was on combat deployment number two and like it's really hard to have a marriage when you're gone more than half the time so i was like oh my god fear like fear was setting in history is going to repeat itself i'm going to have another divorce this time there's kids involved so i started searching for answers like crazy i started listening to the four hour work week i started i started listening to podcasts and then finally i heard the right one 
this guy was flipping vacant raw land and he was talking about buying it from the tax auctions well i had no clue what he was talking about with that but i was like listen i know there's a way to get a list of you know land that you can buy that's behind on taxes or the list of owners that haven't paid their back taxes it's like if i just got that list and i mailed those owners a postcard or a letter saying hey i'd like to buy your land on 123 Main Street or your land in El Paso County, Colorado, call me. I'm, I'd pay fair cash, fast price. Like I can get it done quickly. God bless you. And if anybody wants a copy of that postcard, go to thelandsharks.com forward slash postcard. Uh, I, I'll give it to you so you can start using it right away. It works. I bought millions of dollars worth of land with it. So getting started, going back to your question, how do you get started when you have no money? Well, like, I didn't have the funds, but I had enough money to send these postcards out for like 50 cents a piece, 55 cents a piece. And me and my wife used to write letters in the basement and there's easier ways to do it now. But I sent that letter. I sent that postcard, I should say, the exact postcard I just gave out on the landsharks.com forward slash postcard. I sent that postcard to 687 people that were behind on their taxes for their land and they started calling. Like the first one that ever called was a retired CPA, a certified public accountant. He goes, Brent, I don't want the land anymore. I traded it many years for, for tax work. I've been paying the back taxes. It's yours for $285. And I was like, this guy's lost his mind. And he told me where it was. He gave me the location. He gave me his name. So I looked him up on the property assessor's website. And I was like, listen, I'm going to need like a week because I'm working. It was like Monday. So I drove out there on Saturday. Me, my wife, my newborn baby, and one of my army officer friends was telling me I was stupid for buying land. Um, like, listen, we all have naysayers. Don't listen to them. Because, um, yeah, he's like living in his mom's basement right now. Long story short, I went out there, looked at the land. I thought it was beautiful. Turns out it was not buildable. And I still didn't know what it was worth. But I was like, there's, I mean, it's got to be worth more than $285. So there's a real estate office down the street and i i'm telling you i i feel like as if god planted that real estate office there for me i called that real estate office someone answered the real estate agent answered and i said hey what's the get her done now price like what's the 30-day blowout price because i'm about to buy this land and i'm scared to death i'm gonna get stuck with it or i'm gonna lose my money you know i won't be able to sell it what do you think i could sell this thing for like really quick she said i think maybe ten thousand dollars and i was like my world just changed so I thanked her for her time. I said, I'll call you back as soon as I own the land. I'm trying to figure out how to come up with the $285, by the way, mm -hmm. like, cause I didn't have it. Um, newborn baby, diapers, just moved across the country, bought a house, blah, 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 which is sad. I was like literally like a 27 year old broke joke. Um, <laughs> so I think for her time, she calls me right back and goes, hey Brent, what if I bought the land from you? I was like, okay, what are you offering? She goes five grand. She was lowballing me, man. And I said, let's do it. You know, she sent me the contract. I signed it. She wanted to buy it the very next week. She wanted to close fast. Yes. And she was, again, lowballing me, but I didn't care. Five grand, like I'm trading $285 for 5,000. So I called the seller. I said, hey, I'll pay you on Tuesday. Is that okay? So Saturday. And he goes, nah, no problem. So he bought, brought me the deed and I paid him and wrote, wrote him the check and I brought it to the title company. And then the next day, Wednesday, I went and picked up my $5,000 check. So that was like a quick, quick deal. And then the second one I paid $500 down for, I paid $500 for that land. This was a way better property. Again, it was landlocked though, surrounded by state land. I was like, mm -hmm. what do I do with this? I put this one on Craigslist. I should have called that realtor. <laughs> but I wasn't smart enough to do that. I put it on Craigslist for $500 down and I was like, surely someone will maybe pay me payments because Americans think, you know, how much is it going to cost each month? Yes. I just wanted my $500 back. I posted that land like two days later. I had someone bring me $500 to my house. I gave him a contract for deed saying, if you pay me this many payments, I sold that one for $5,000 again, uh, the second one. But he paid me $400 a month for like 11 months. And uh, that's the one that changed my life really because that paid my truck payment. And I just kept doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it before I knew it I had nine grand a month coming in and, and loans payments wow. paying me every single month. I quit my job. I got the heck out of the military. I did not do that, that third combat deployment. And, uh, I just took the whole month of March off almost 
we're leaving for Costa Rica for six weeks at the end of June. Like life has changed. I love to hear stuff like that right there, Brent. And see, that's one of the stories right there. Like, you know, regardless of if you don't have any money, there's always a way to generate things that you want and need out of life. Like a lot of people would be like, man, you know what? I'm broke. I don't have any money. I, there's no way in the world I can buy this land. I'm going to pass up on what this gentleman's saying, this land for, you know, a few hundred, for 200 bucks or what? I'm going to pass up on that. You know what? I don't need this. This is silly. And again, like you were saying about your naysayer friend here. So a lot of times in life, we do have naysayers and naysayers can even be family, you know, even, even your spouse. So oh, I mean, yeah. yes, 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 definitely. So as long as you don't listen to those naysayers and you know you can do it, you can achieve anything out of life. Yeah. And I'll tell you, like anytime my 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 wife has not been on board of something I'm doing, I usually am not successful with it. So like we have to get the buy in from our spouse. Um, it's so important. But if you're one of those people that you try a bunch of things and you quit as soon as it, you know, you get that first no, then why would your wife or your, your husband think it's going to work? Like yeah. they're used to you quitting. So you have to literally prove it to them too. Like, <laughs> so, and eventually they will get on board, especially when you start bringing those $55,000 checks home and yes. you, you buy them that brand new vehicle or you pay off all the debt or you pay off your house or you say, honey, we're going to Costa Rica for six weeks because this is what you've always wanted to do. We've already got the house like yes. locked in on Airbnb. Like the world has changed. We can live anywhere doing this deals everywhere i think i'm gonna buy i think i'm gonna buy a piece of land in costa rica while i'm out there oh why right. is it is a pretty good race in costa rica for it i don't know but i just want to do a land deal in costa yeah. rica like yes, i'm sir. just i literally just felt moved to say that so i i guess i better do it because i just better do it out to millions of yeah. people might as well go ahead and do it Brent. Yeah. yeah you know what i might have to come over to costa rica also and do a deal myself because yeah, i never thought about doing a deal in costa rica but then that you mentioned it hmm let's go fishing let's there's, go fishing there's some mad opportunity out there because most people live a life of fear they live a life like oh my god like my granddad he didn't achieve this my uncle he didn't achieve this my uncle's a good man he didn't he didn't do this so i can't do it a lot of people sometimes in life Brent, i notice they feel that they're not deserving if they haven't seen their family achieve something now if any of my listeners want to reach out to you they're like you know what i'm really feeling brent i'm really feeling what he's saying i, I love what he's talking about i want to learn more from brent how can my audience and my listeners get in touch with you sir yeah i mean the best way is go to the land sharks.com schedule a call fill out the form uh we we are taking some new people on right now to teach them how to do land investing how to build a land investing business that will serve you and others now listen i don't i can't take everyone on there's only so much time you know i, I built a lifestyle business fill out that form fill it out fully but if you're one step in one foot in one foot out like you're you're not committed to this don't even fill out that form like that's no bs like we can only take on so many people and i want winners i want people that want to change their life like alana cohen in new jersey like she's a single mother of four children just did her sixth land deal like this this girl is like literally getting uh her she told me on her fourth land deal she got a check for twenty thousand dollars net profit like this is life changing stuff. And thank you so much for that right there, Brent. And also to all of my listeners, please go to the website that Brent had recommended and please get that postcard. Please get that, like I said, because if, if you have this free resource that Brent is providing, please use that free resource because, you know, like like you heard Brent say, all you have to do is put forth an action. He's giving you the free resource. All you have to do is take that resource and then do what he done. Pass it out to everybody, you know, go distribute it out. If you want to make a better life for yourself, you definitely can now last question here brent now two questions actually it's one question but it's two now if you could summarize last year what's one word that you would use to summarize last year d scale okay fantastic i love that next question what is one word to use to summarize the current year lifestyle i was gonna say lifestyle enjoyment but lifestyle Yes, sir. And it has been an absolute pleasure, Brent, have you on the show today. And thank you so much for joining the podcast.